You're in Home Depot when suddenly a voice comes over the intercom that says, the last person alive gets to leave. There's no way out. What do you do? Climb. Those shelves are hella tall and it'd be easy to hide. Plus then you'd have the high ground, so if you underestimate someone's power and then they try it, you can quickly triple amputate them. Go to the fucking tile cutting area. Nobody's been there since 93. Die horribly, I expect. Put up a couple of those aisle closed barricades. Nobody can touch you. Play dead. Face down. Next to a Home Depot bucket of Keekcrete, concrete on your face offs. Make it look like there was a struggle. Wait until everyone kills each other. Then when the last living bastard comes by with his axe or chainsaw or nail gun making sure everyone is dead, because he hasn't been allowed to leave, take out the wasp spray and hammer from under your belly, spray wasp poison in their face, that stuff has a 3 meters distance, get behind them, so their wildly swinging axe or chainsaw doesn't gut you, and hammer to the head. I'm gonna spray it with the wasp poison and smack him with a hammer. Track down the little shit who's trying to start a riot and tell him to stop abusing the intercom system. Exactly. The people thinking things would immediately devolve into a death battle overestimate people's willingness to blindly follow orders to kill people. Everyone hearing that would laugh awkwardly first, throw in a are they serious? Or two, and people slowly gathering in a group to figure out what's going on. That group of people would likely spend a good amount of time trying to figure out ways to get out of the Home Depot first, then wondering who gave the command and where they're located, employee break room? Can we get in there? And only after all other options are attempted, maybe start thinking about actually following the commands. Climb a shelf and lay there. Game theory would suggest that numerous people would try this and then it would be a hide and seek match between those with weapons and those hiding. The ones with weapons may even form alliances to kill the hiders. Or you just have too many hiding and not participating resulting in death by exhaustion slash dehydration. It for those asking more about the game type, https colon slash slash n wikipedia org slash wiki slash non cooperative backslash underscore Core game backslash underscore theory. Head to the gardening section and get the chainsaw I always wanted. Have fun with no gas. Go to the gardening section and climb out. They're not usually covered. Right. Like, so the fuck what if the doors are locked? I'm in a building full of cutting torches, angle grinders and sledgehammers. I'm getting TF out. Hide in the restroom and put a sign that says, out of order. Dot. Edit, thanks for the likes and thank you stranger for giving me a silver. Edit 2, typo. Grab an orange apron off a nearby shelf. Believe me, nobody can ever find a Home Depot employee. Saw on a pole and a trash can lid. Good old spear and shield combo. Get a multi-gas or pesticide respirator, then head to the cleaning section and mix together all their bottles of ammonia and bleach. Chemical weapons beat conventional weapons. You need the pink 3 meters ones they protect against organic compounds. Everyone here is trying too hard. I've never seen anyone under the age of 65 at Home Depot during the day. All you have to do is remove wet floor signs and help yourself to some of the snacks up front. And GT. I've never seen anyone under the age of 65 at Home Depot during the day. Then you have missed all the hot carpenters. I'd shit in one of the show toilets to show my dominance. But I'm hiding in the toilet. What the fuck? Stop listening to the voices in my head. Find the nearest lift equipment, ram it through the wall, go home and nap. I don't even have the social energy to talk to store employees, so I'm not joining in some Hunger Games murder mystery. Kill myself to get first place. Hide in the garden section outside and make an innocent looking fort out of soil bags. Put the cute little cactuses they sell on top and no one would dare attack me. I start shopping at Lowe's. Try to convince people not to kill each other. Ah yes, the first target. No way out my ass, 
I'm in a hardware store with presumably glass sliding doors. A hardware store. Most people wouldn't devolve into full-blown purge in the first 10 minutes so make it clear you want to get everyone out and grab a sledgehammer or chainsaw and go to town on a wall. This way, I get to have fun breaking a wall and when I step out I'll probably be sniped in the head on sight. I stand no chance of killing 30 to 100 strangers so I might as well get the least painful death. Going straight for the roundup. Everyone dies of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, easy peasy smile. Find an exit before anybody else and smash the door. We're in Home Depot. We can find a sledgehammer and bust a few walls. So, you know how axe throwing became a thing. I went to too many parties with axe throwing. I'm pretty good at it. Last time I was at Home Depot they had hatchets next to the hammers. I grab as many as I could and unpackage them as quickly as possible. And GT. So, you know how axe throwing became a thing. No? You wacky kids these days with your axe throwing contests. When I was a teenager, we preferred drinking, drugs, and questionable hookups at our parties. Grab a respirator mask, set a fire, and try to wait it out. You know the respirator doesn't help with low oxygen levels, right? I find a screwdriver and fortify one of those not commonly known about storage hiding places. Whoever finds me gets shanked and I move on to the next, eventually getting a good hiding place among items that can be moved slightly to make a hidey hole where I can lay low until there's only one person alive. Then I make my way over to a lift, turn it on, and run the motherfucker over. Just like PUBG. This is someone else's strategy, too, only they grabbed water bottles and granola bars. Or dead. Sorry. Perish. Dot. Okay, hey so like there's what? 100 of us? And one of that guy? Where's the intercom room again? Someone here no? Oh. Right, right there? Excellent, okay. And you guys in the corner, can you go get some weapons? Odds are there's gotta be at least one locksmith here right? You? Greaty we'll need you. Dot. I'm a pretty good climber so once I grab a few things I'm scaling that shit. I would grab a snack and water from the front, find a weapon, and hide in the rug area. Work at Home Depot and think about potential department battles all the time. Honestly the most effective weapons are the heavy duty steel curtain rods in the blinds, shelving department. Reach, light but sturdy. Nothing melee really beats that. Followed by the pipe benders in plumbing as alternatives but unwieldy. And finally, if you have time, Molotov cocktails from the paint department's many solvents. Hide in the racking until there's only a few left then jump down and pole fight with fresh energy. Chainsaws don't have enough range. I'm grabbing a backpack sprayer, some gasoline and a lighter, just like back in Nam. Username could come in handy. Call up Emtfepsilon11 to recontain these fools. Wait. Hashtag wait why are the lights out and why are they chasing me and why are they telling me the store is closed? Call 911 on my cell phone. Right? Everyone else in here is one intercom message away from mass murder. Grab a saw and play fruit ninja with people. Climbing those stairs you're not supposed to. A real rule breaker I see set the store on fire. Those MFs are dying with me. Pull out a reverse Uno you know card and walk out. I would try to find an old person with a portable oxygen generator, grab a bunch of super glue, and glue myself into a freezer. Hopefully wait it out until the others are dead. But do you kill the old person? Or let them die of suffocation? Slash r slash writing prompts. Sprint for the forklift. Grab all the nail guns and extra nails I can carry, run to the garden center and jump into the flower beds burying myself, carefully as not to make a mess, and wait. Rambo taught me well. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but nail guns are nowhere near as strong as you think they are. More than like six feet away and the nails won't even poke through somebody's clothes. Grab a battery powered nail gun and grab as many boxes of nails as possible for ammunition. Climb a section of shelving and rain nails upon anything that moves. I'd grab an enclosed forklift so you couldn't hit me and ram the shelving until it collapses. By the look of these comments I see a lot of dead people. Nail gun? 
Lol. Not a good long range weapon. You pretty much have to make contact to depress the safety. That's if you have a charged battery or air compressor, which is unlikely. Chainsaw? You need gas. You need a charged battery. Maybe you can find those. A pole trimmer would be a better choice if you could get it going. Hide? Gives me more time to get better weapons. First thing. Grab anything that can be used defensively or to attack at range. You have to make it to a weapon. Top picks. Axe. Old faithful. Good weapon length. Good damage. Can be used to break down barriers or push off attacks. Paint strippers. Oh. Multiple targets. Barrier breakers. Distractions. Or clift. Tank. Speed. Armor, fork can impale multiple targets. After initial onslaught can be armored and used to hunt down the rest. I guess call people I care about to tell them I love them and that I'm trapped in some strange home depot hunger games. I would do this because there is no way in hell I'm gonna be the last one alive, so I might as well not commit murder. I'd start with my mom, then my sister, then my two best friends. Mom and sis wouldn't understand but if I made it to my friends they'd get what was going down. If I'm close to garden, grab a chainsaw. If I'm close to hardware, grab a nail gun. Then jump in a forklift and run people over. Fuck, probably just convince everyone to grab sledgehammers and go hammer to the walls. Eventually they'll give and we all escape without anyone dying. That is unless there are armed guards outside in which case everyone dies. Gonna need some Drano, foil, tape and nails or ball bearings. And what does that do exactly? I'd go the hide and seek route. There's lots of nasty weapons for when the easy kills are out of the way. The garden center is probably the best option to wait, and it has the best weapons. Sickles, mattocks, hoes, grass whips, axes, etc. Then there's the chemicals, some pretty good nerve agents, and lots of ammonium nitrate for explosives. Probably die, I'm a big imposing bear of a man. I feel bad when I kill bugs, pretty damn sure I can't kill a person. Is this an American Home Depot? Yes, but they don't have a gun section in Home Depot unfortunately. I'm grabbing a lawnmower and busting through the goddamn slide doors. Hide inside of a washer or dryer and keep the lid open just enough to breathe. Run towards the cutlery section if there is one. Happy cake day. Home Depot doesn't have a cutlery section. Grab what's close and can bludgeon a person. Scale the shelves. Take all of the candy they keep near the register and hide. Everyone else will starve to death and I'll win. LOL. Find a corner, grab my concealed carry. I forgot this was America. Open this thread that I just saved in preparation. Flood the place then electrocute the fucking lot of them. Aisle 31, Bay 14, Machetes. Loudly say tonight, Gehrman joins the hunt. Grab a chainsaw or paint myself orange and camouflage lol. Tell Carl get stop playing with the pee. Assist him again and get back to work. Kid's an idiot. I like to think that there would be a mutual agreement between all shoppers to not resort to violence and instead start a new civilization inside of Home Depot. But in reality, we all know it would be like the Hunger Games set inside Home Depot, so I'd probably hide inside a cabinet with a screwdriver. I'd check the exits and if they were truly blocked, I'd call the cops and tell them someone had taken everyone in Home Depot hostage in some shitty saw like copycat crime. Then me and everyone else would walk out in 15 minutes when the fire marshal shows up due to locked fire escapes. I'd cry in a corner? Maybe. Go to the carpet section and ride up the rotating carpet thingy. Hide there until the aggressors are gone. Wait for a little longer for the other hiders to be taken care of. Eventually climb down quietly and take my shoes off so that I can sneak. Grab myself a knife and a sludge hammer. Set up some motion detector lights and some ring doorbell things. Some night vision binoculars and turn out all the lights. Wait for someone to move and a light to go on or a ring to ring. Find and kill. The last person becomes an employee, that's how Home Depot hires people and all the other employees were the champions of past games. Become a quest NPC and set up a weapons shop. You can never kill the quest NPCs, 